Today's topic is geometric sequences. This should kind of remind you of the arithmetic sequences because it's another special type. For part A, let's go ahead and get a definition. A sequence is geometric if the ratios of the consecutive terms are the same. So, if I take my terms, let's say a sub 2 over a sub 1, and that equals r, and then I do a sub 3 over a sub 2, and that also equals r, then r is equal to the common ratio. Remember, in arithmetic, we had d, the common difference. In geometric, we have r, the common ratio. Let's look at some examples. Number one. I want you to determine whether it is geometric. So question number one, is it geometric? If so, find R, the common ratio. All right, if I give you 2, 4, 8, and 16, okay? Let's find out, is it geometric? So we're going to do A2 divided by A1, 4 over 2, which equals 2. And then we're going to do the next one, 8 over 4 which is 2, and 2 does equal 2, so it's yes, the common difference, or the common ratio is the same, and r is equal to 2. Let's look at another one. Oh, actually, we're going to go ahead and move on. That does seem pretty clear. I, hopefully you can go ahead and grab that concept. Part B, the nth term of a geometric sequence So again, this is another special sum formula. The nth term of a geometric sequence is a sub n equals a sub 1 times r to the n minus 1. That's to find any number of terms. So let's go ahead and look at that. Example number 2 for today. I want the first five terms. Whose first term is a sub 1, which equals 3, and whose common ratio r equals to 2. So, I have a sub n equals a1, which is 3, times r, which is 2, to the n minus 1. That's how I found, find out the beginning of my sequence. That's how I give a sequence that's geometric. I know it's geometric because there's a common ratio. Now if I want to find the first five terms, I'm going to do a1, which was given to me as 3, a2, which is 2 plug in for n, 2 minus 1 is 1, 2 to the first power is 2, and 2 times 3 is 6. a3, I'm going to plug in 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared or 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. a4, 4 minus 1 is 3, 2 to the third power is 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which is 8, times 3. 8 times 3 is 24. And a 5, which is 5 minus 1, which is 4. 2 to the fourth is 16. And 16 times 3 is 48. So that's the first five terms of my sequence. Let's, find, let's look at a couple more examples. Example 3. I want you to find the 15th term. of a sequence whose first is 20 and common ratio is 1.05. So I'm finding a geometric sequence. I want the 15th term. The first term is 20. The common ratio is this. I'm going to go ahead and plug that in. A sub n equals uh, first term is 20. So that goes here times the common ratio, which is 1.05, to the n minus 1. And to find the 150th, I'm simply, I'm sorry, the 15th, I'm simply going to plug in 15 for n. So a sub 15 is 20 times 1.05 times r to the 15 minus 1, which is to the 14th power. And if I do this part first, 1.05 to the 14th power, and then times 20, I get that a 15, or the 15th term, is 39.599. Okay, one more example. This is number four. 
I want you to find the twelfth term of the sequence, where a, um, actually I'm just going to give you the first few, 5, 15, and 45 are the first three, and the common difference is 3. Okay, so let's start with a sub n. The first term is 5 times the common difference 3 to the n minus 1. I want the 12, so I'm going to plug in 12. 5 times 3 to the 12 minus 1. And this is a very large number when I use my calculator. 3 to the 11th power is 177,147 times 5 is 885,735. And that's the twelfth term of the sequence. Your assignment number five is page 669. It's number six to 14 even. 27, 28, 35 through 37. Good luck. Let me know if you have questions.